excited to be back again with season two of your favorite and only Bumps, Babies and Toddlers show in Africa. I promise to bring you the best news, views, laughter, talks and joy in parenting. Stay glued to your seats because I have more for you. Multiple babies are on the rise. Though it's twice the fun, it can also be twice the worry. If you're fascinated about babies and twins and multiple babies like I do, today you get a chance to hear real moms as they share the experiences raising their multiple babies. Welcome back. By the way, before I forget, thanks to Auntie Aggie of Exotic Trends for my beautiful hair and Pokia Poku for my beautiful attire. Today I have with me a guest, Miss um, Sena Junu who is a mother of beautiful twin girls, Kayla and Kareen. And she'll be talking to me about her multiple birth experience, being the mother of twins and all the fun stuff she's been going through. Stella, you're welcome to the show. Thank you very much. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. You didn't bring your babies, why? Ah, it will be a lot of stress carrying them all the way from central region to this place. Wow, wow. My husband has to go to work and I can't it's bring them all alone. You. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much stress carrying them around wow. without a help. Yeah. Wow. How mm -hmm. does it feel being a mother of twins? I feel blessed, but at the same time, it's very, very stressful. Really? Yes. How stressful is it? How does your give me an example of how your every day, how it goes every day? Now my girls are one year, and amazingly, since they started eating and walking, they refuse to eat. So in the night. You have to breastfeed all through the night. It's like a wakeeping. Wow. And then you have to wake up, be at work by 8, close, come home. And because you've been away for so long a time, when you get home, it's like you don't have to do anything just to attend to them, breastfeed. And it's so stressful. At night, when the night comes, you don't sleep, wow. you wake up, go to work. And so tell me, do you, do you have twins in your family? How did it happen? Yes, my grandmom, maternal grandmom. She's a twin. No, she gave birth to other types of twins. Really? Her first born was a girl, second two girls, third two boys. Wow. And then fourth one boy, one girl. So my wow. mom is a twin. My mom's twin sister gave birth to twins. Wow. So it runs <laughs> in the family. Wow, wow. You're so blessed. Yeah, very wow, blessed. Wow, wow. So how, how was it for you, your pregnancy experience? Was your tummy really big? Um, I would say it was okay. It was not so big because a lot of people didn't know it was twins. We really? decided, my husband and I decided to keep it from even my mom, to keep ah! it from everybody just to surprise them. So ah. it was after delivery that they got to know it was twins. So it wasn't so big. It was just first pregnancy. So it was just normal. Oh, I see. Yeah, I yeah. see. I see. But did you go through a C-section or? Yes, a cesarean okay. section C because one was not turned well. One was bridge and then one was cephalic, so. Okay, okay. So tell me, when you were pregnant, were you eating twice as much or you were eating the same quantity of food? Um, first trimester, it was, I was almost always vomiting. Nothing stays in there, so. Really? The only thing that I was really tolerating was malt. Malt <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Aside that, nothing else. But second trimester was more of a holiday trimester for me. I was able to tolerate a lot of food. I mean, it wasn't so much, but... Then third trimester, because of the heart burns and all that, I just didn't have appetite for food. But I'll eat a little at a time. And mm -hmm. What were you craving most during mm. your pregnancy? Craving? <laughs> I was craving for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I had this special watching. Initially, I was at KD before moving to a palm. So there was this woman I usually buy watches from. So when I moved to a palm, I was yearning for this watch. <laughs> so one Saturday, my husband had to drive me to KD Are to get serious? that watch. How far is the distance? Oh, it's like three and a half hours drive <laughs> <laughs> from central to eastern region, a palm to KD. Wow. And uh, so the woman doesn't come on Saturdays. <laughs> So I told oh, a colleague funny. to buy it on a Friday. So Saturday we drove there, took oh, it. Wow. I microwaved it, ate it, and I was okay. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Wow. How is it having firstborns as, as twins? The first two months, it was so stressful for my husband and I. It was so, so stressful. And wow. sometimes I'll just be there and I'll start crying. <laughs> so would you say that sometimes, you, I mean, I'm sure your, your daughters are a blessing, but sometimes oh, you yeah. wish you had just one? No. 
you love the two. I've, I've actually prayed for my husband and I started praying for two years, ah! even before we married. <laughs> <It sounds like laughs> <me>. <laughs> I was wow. actually praying for one, but <laughs> so I would, I would still, even I would still have loved to have twins. They are a blessing. I mean, you kill two birds with one stone. So, <laughs> to me, are you thinking of having more kids? For now, I'm not thinking about giving birth. Not anytime soon. Maybe in the near future, I'll decide. But oh, wow. for now, I, I, I'm not there yet. But has your husband been helpful? Very, very helpful. I thank God for his life. Wow. He's been very, very helpful. Sometimes I get so stressed out and then I burst out and I'm so angry with him. Afterwards, I regret. I was like, this man has been doing so well. Why do I have to treat him this way? He's been so helpful. Wow. He's been so helpful. So, so what you're talking about is the stress is from taking care of them. You get tired sometimes. Yes. You get yes. overburdened. You get overburdened. I mean, you... Sometimes, at a, initially, I wasn't able to breastfeed them together. I mean, put both of them to breast, but... But you actually put both of them to breast? Oh, yes. <laughs> when well, you don't do that, <laughs> how are you going to cope? <laughs> because they are both crying for your attention. Wow. So, my mom taught me how to put the two of them to breast at the same time, and then it helped a little bit. But it's, it's, it's not easy for the two of them to breastfeed together, especially in the night. You feel hunger pangs. Wow. Yes. Have you fallen asleep breastfeeding before? A lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> and no, a million, even last night. They are still breastfeeding? Yes. They wouldn't wow. eat anything. Really? So, initially, after six months, they started tolerating porridge, rice, but when they started teething and then walking, they stopped eating. We've tried varieties and they wouldn't just eat. So, in the night, it's more like a wake-keeping. Okay. So sometimes when they've sucked so much and I'm so exhausted and I need to sleep, my husband wakes up and takes them to the sitting room and plays with them in the middle of the night. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Senna, for coming to the show. It's You're been welcome. it's been wonderful. I, I have to rub off the twin uh spirit from you because I, I <laughs> You really want twins. I want twins. Now you should get human resources down. Human resources. Yes, because that's my whole the most family. That's the most difficult aspect, yeah. at least for the finances God will provide. But yes. for human resource, it's that is what amazing. makes it much, much more stressful. Really? So you should get a lot of human resource done before you get I'll it. Get, I'll have to hire my whole family. Exactly. Live in a family house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. You're blessed. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have some products from my sponsors, Cousin Baby, mm -hmm. for you when you're leaving there. All right. Thank you Baby very much. For girls. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. For nice coming. talking to you. You too. All right. Thank you. So it's been it's been nice talking to Miss Senna. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Dear Moms, Cassin's baby understands that no babies are alike and so is their skin needs. Cassin's baby's ranges are enriched with natural moisturizers and soft fragrance. Mild and gentle range nurtures and cares for baby's sensitive skin. Soft and smooth range keeps baby's skin soft and supple. Now, your baby feels so happy and pampered. Cassin's baby. Happiest baby, most reassured ma'am. Welcome back. Today we're talking about multiple babies, twice the blessing, but twice the worry. My guest is Miss Fafa Habib, who is blessed with a beautiful Miss set of twins, um, a boy and a girl, um, Jane and Jai. And she's going to tell me about her experience being a mother of twins. Fafa, you're welcome to the show. Thank you. Wow, is that Jay? That's Jay. Yes, and that's, that's Jay. Jay. Let me let me hold one of them for you. <laughs> I can see that you're, you're going through a lot over there. Oops, oh, my bad. Oh. Which one is this? He's Jane. Jane. Yes. How is it being a, a mom of 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 twins? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. At the same time, it's tiring. Really? It is a lot of work. Oh, they're so beautiful. Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the work involved is just too much. Uh, my doctor always says that twins are nice on paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's the statement he always used to make to me. He said really? twins are nice on paper. Aww. They are a lot and a lot of work. Wow. You don't wow. sleep. Wow. Not morning, not evening, mm. not at all. I see. 
when one is crying, the other is quiet. The moment the other keeps quiet, the, the other starts crying. crying. Oh. You put one to sleep, the other is awake. When the other goes to sleep, the other wakes up. Wow. So you are always at, on your feet 24 hours. 24 hours? Mm hmm How was it during your pregnancy? Did you have complications? Yes, I, 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 I did. Um, I, I think with me, I had a lot of um, stress, mm. stressful pregnancy. Okay. So at a point, I had to be going on admission, coming home. Mm -hmm. you, you should see me. My mm -hmm. whole hands were I swollen. Think, I think you should take Jane and give me and a give. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I enjoyed being a mom for 10 for, seconds. For 10 seconds. <laughs> oh. okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so you say. At a point, I was in and out of hospital mm -hmm. like every other two weeks or something, because I go and I I, I start having um, contractions, oh, wow. then I get admitted at Leicester, then my doctor tries putting everything under control. When he discharges me and I come home, oh, within some few weeks, I'm on the phone again calling him, and then I'm back. The hospital, the final time when I went there, I was just permanently on admission till oh, really? I put to bed. Yes. Wow. I was always on drip. Wow. The, the drip was never stopped till the day I delivered. Wow. I'm telling you. Was your stomach big? It was huge. Really? You should have seen me. If I have some pictures you to show it. you. Yes, yes, yes. No, show it on the screen. Wow. It was, I was so large. I'm wow. Saying, whenever I come out of the ward to take a, a stroll, even my fellow pregnant men were like, wow. Wow. <laughs> Is that your stomach? <laughs> it used to even scare my husband. Really? <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, wow. wow yes. Wow, wow. Okay. So on a regular day, when you wake up, what do you do? Oh. I bath, I feed, change diapers, then they, they take their bath. Then after that, it's trying to get them in their good moods throughout <laughs> the day. They feed and feed, sleep, feed, sleep, feed, sleep, change diapers. And then I go about my duties. It's, it's, it's quite hectic when you don't have a help. But when you do have a help, sometimes you, you can manage around it. Mm. Because whilst she's um, um, helping with one baby, you can quickly get the other the baby, baby and then be doing what you have to do. Mm. Sometimes too, when there's no one around, then it means that you have to put one at your back and then hold one and try and cuddle them both at the same wow. time wow. and wow. put them to sleep at the same time. That way you can be able to do what you have to do. That is it. Are they your firstborns? No, I actually have one boy. Wow. How is he coping? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair. No, not at all. He keeps saying that word. <laughs> you know, just like yesterday when he came back from school, I was f trying to feed the two of them. And he was like, Mommy, I want to eat yam. And I was oh. like, okay, wait. I'll give you yam. Within another minute, he came back. Mommy, why don't you want to give me my yam? It's not fair, <laughs> my not yam. Fair. Then the next minute, he comes, can I have your phone? Who do you oh. want it for? I want to call daddy. I want to eat yam. Oh. So he wants to complain to his father that I'm not giving oh, him yam. Attention. I think he's just competing for attention, um, yeah? You, 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 you won't want to be in that situation. Wow. Wow. Sometimes wow. He, he, he cries over the little thing that he wouldn't even have cried over when he was oh. a, a, alone. Now, the little thing, he just burst into tears. So that, and then when he sees them crying, mm -hmm. that is when he also starts crying. I see. So, um, with, with Jen and Jai, do, do they, do you see them competing for attention? Yes, they do. You, you know, initially, because they were young, they were babies, mm -hmm. um, they were not really doing that but as they are growing they are beginning to realize it so let's say for instance when you put him down and you pick her immediately she starts crying the moment you put him down you, you put her down when you pick him she also does the same thing wow and the, the, there is one funny thing when you are breastfeeding him and she starts crying he quickly holds onto your hands or mm -hmm. your dress Oh, wow. As though to tell you, don't, don't let go <laughs> of me. <laughs> so, so as young as they are, they're actually competing, yeah? Uh, they really are. 
Wow. They, and, and, and I'm really surprised that they are able to tell that mm -hmm. th they are two. So they need to <laughs> compete for survival. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite interesting. I see. Do you have twins in your family? Yes, my grandmother had twins. Mm -hmm. So um, I think she's the only one that I know of. The first scan I went, they said it was a single baby. Then my doctor was on leave. So it was a different gynae who attended to me. Then when I went on the um, second visit, he was back. So he did the first scan and he said, okay, this is baby one. <laughs> then he went to the other heartbeat. He said, you can ah! hear the heartbeat. There's a baby two. And I said, what? You don't mean it. And he said, I'm telling you, you've got twins. And I said, oh my oh God. My God. <laughs> when I walked out of his consult, I was, I was virtually jumping. <laughs> I can imagine. And when I called my husband, he was like, it can't be possible. Really? He said, how come they had one heartbeat the first time? And then, and then, then they can hear too. So he followed me to the <laughs> next visit to go and actually ask my guy really? why me? the first time it was one heartbeat <laughs> and then the next time it was two heartbeats. Did he do something? <laughs> oh. it, it, it's quite, oh, it, 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 it's lovely. It's, it's a lovely experience. I, I pray that everyone who wants to went will So what if they experience. turn out to be triplets? Oh my God. What would you do? I, I, I don't know, maybe I would increase my tears. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because when I actually get stressed out, I start crying. So I, I'm sure really? I, I would be crying more. Yes. So you actually cried when you get stressed out? Yes, because sometimes you don't really know what you, you, are, you are doing because this one is crying, you are giving him food he doesn't want, you are giving her food she doesn't want. You are, you are trying to do everything to calm them down. They say no way. You, they, they won't be calmed down. So at that point, I, I get frustrated and then I, I start crying and I'm just like, God, please help me. God, please help me. I, I, I keep just saying that loudly. And then I just keep wow. shedding tears. And sometimes I have to call my mom like, the babies are crying. They are, not, they are not calming down. So she's like, okay, try and give them a bath and see. And so <laughs> try everything possible. I'm telling you, just to get them to just calm down. <laughs> but, but are you glad that, you, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure they are amazing kids, but at mm. the same time, would you wish you had just one? Oh, no, 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 no. You just love them, even yes. though you go through all the Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. They, they, they are adorable. That's they, nice, they that's are. nice. So you dress them alike? I mean, that's a boy and a girl, but no. you don't dress no. them alike at all. No, not at all. Fafa, it's been, it's been nice having you on the show. I, I, <laughs> I'm glad I met them. They're so adorable. Thank so you. Bring them to me. I'll keep them in my house for a few days for you. Oh, mine. You will rush and bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> because you will have to breastfeed the two. You put one this way. So you breastfeed both? Yes, that's that's what I, I started doing. In fact, I read a lot on the net. Mm. Because, you know, in Ghana here, you hardly have a lot of teachings and things about. on about twins. So you have to read. So I really read before I, I, I put to bed. And you breastfeed both yes, at the same time? Yes, yes. You, you put one this way wow. with, with the head uh, on the pillow and then the other crosses this way. So as they are all sucking, when one sleeps, you let go. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I go like, sweet, wake up, the breast has come out. So he has to wake up and then put the breast in the other one's mouth. It, 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 it is that way. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you oh, just wow. Oh. I need to give you a, a mom of the year award. Oh, I think I'll you've be, done well. I'll be grateful. I think you've done well. You're blessed. <laughs> let me Thank also, you. let me wrap from you the twin thing. I, I, oh, I, you've Papa, got I so want twins. You have no idea. They are all yours. Thank you. I'll keep, I'll keep this one. You can keep the other one. Oh. <laughs> we'll be back with more after the break. Dear Mums, Cassin's baby understands that no babies are alike and so is their skin needs. Cassin's baby's ranges are enriched with natural moisturizers and soft fragrance. Mild and gentle range nurtures and cares for baby's sensitive skin. Soft and smooth range keeps baby's skin soft and supple. Now, your baby feels so happy and pampered. Cassin's baby. Happiest baby, most reassured mom. I thought having twins was the craziest idea, but you should meet Mommy Felicia, who is raising triplets. Wow, Mommy Felicia, you're welcome to the show. Thank you very much. How are you doing it, raising triplets? Very, very hectic. <laughs> it's not that easy. 
<laughs> as you see them sitting here nicely like that. <laughs> see, when they, when they sit like this with this uh, grown-up, you see it's very, very beautiful. <laughs> but it's not very, it's not easy. Really? It's not easy at all. Really? It's not easy. Really? How was your pregnancy? Was your stomach big? Very, very big. I quite remember uh, when I was four months, the doctor detected it was twins. Really? Then fifth to sixth month, I, I was not able to even sit down. So they went to check about five scans and they all detected one was coming from under. under. And <laughs> so it means on the fifth to sixth, that it was triplets. So we decided not to go again, not to go and check, check again. To see if there's a fourth one uh -huh. coming. And that day, <laughs> I wept. You wept? Yes. It was my husband who was just concerned. I wept. Oh. Because I was just seeing myself a fresh woman. <laughs> I've not delivered before, I've not given birth before. The and first born. Born, triplets, <coughs> how to handle, and I've not even seen some before. So I wept. Do you have triplets in your family? We don't have triplets in the family. We have twins. We have twins. We don't have triplets. So I, I can proudly say and praise God that uh, I'm the first. Wow. And this is natural. This is not. This is natural. Not. Uh, fresh, straight from honeymoon. <laughs> yes. Wow. This is natural. Wow. wow. And you said your stomach was big. How was it for you? My stomach was very, around? very big mm -hmm. to the extent that I was using five years of uh, uh, <laughs> tie and dye. And when I'm coming like that, you see me, it will be like, excuse me to say, you've seen a monster or something. Really? You look at me and you turn back and look at it. So the moment I pass by, <laughs> when I'm going, I look at people and I, 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 I do like this and see whether they, they are, are and you see you. that they are looking at me. <laughs> you see people sitting in their vehicle and they will be looking at me like so. I sometimes find it difficult to even go out. Really? Yes. And when I'm walking, look as if, give me way. Give really? me way. Uh, <laughs> so people were saying, uh, are they twins? Are they, maybe it's a boy, maybe it's this. It's only my husband and I, who knows. And people were even saying, because my husband is a Church of Pentecost elder, they were even saying, Hey, Edda did the thing before it was blessed. So because the stomach, even five, <laughs> five months was like somebody nine months. Uh -huh. It wow. started two months, three months. That somebody can keep it for five months that you will not see. Five months was like nine months. Wow. So when, when you gave it to them, how, how difficult was it for you handling the three of them at the same time, crying? Hey, my sister, very, very, very <laughs> difficult. You see, when they came eh, at 37 Hospital, the way people were coming to me, it was like a record, eight months. Mm. Eight months in the blood. Because they wanted to remove them, they told my husband they should sign a form that they will not be, mm. well, that they want to survive my... Yeah, yeah. Then they removed them and afterwards, they said, no, okay, they should come and pick them. They are eight months, so it was like a record. People were coming to me, so I thought when I came, eh, my leg would not touch the floor. <laughs> I came to the house and my sister, People were not coming like that. Mm. A house helps charging me. Some they charge each of them. If 100 Ghana, 300, 300. Really? Per I day? I'm telling you, a month. A month. And looking for them, crowd was difficult. Somebody will come. Six months, they will tell me, Madam, the I'm work tired. is difficult. Somebody oh. came three days. Joyce, why are you going? You say, no, I thought it was two, mm. three. Then <laughs> I, I, I went to, I went to uh, the bedroom and I started crying. My mom has been coming every day, every morning. You see that my mom tired. A bread baker, everything collapsed because it has to be with me. Aww. Nobody, oh. So I asked myself, where am I going to get help? Hmm. I thought giving out birth to triplets. We'll get more people be... to help you. <coughs> so it's not easy. I can feeding them. So do you know what I did? Around three months, my mom told me, the way we are struggling, let's mix it with porridge. <laughs> so that we can be fast, which is not advisable. Yeah. Because the breast, I was not getting enough breast, breast for them. Oh, for the so while they are sleeping, I will be doing this. My husband will put, put pump machine here <laughs> and will be doing it while I also be doing like this. <laughs> so you can just imagine a caesarean and you see the, the scarf was so big <coughs> that you see this stomach on it that wow. I have to lie down. For, uh, for, for the spirit to be get dry, I will be doing this. Then my husband will be doing the whilst I will also be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So before I get the small feeding bottle, <laughs> you can That'll see how. Like Meanwhile, I'm tired time. the whole day. That wow, I have to sleep. Wow, wow, wow. And I'll be doing it and share it. I At least they should get small mother. Yeah, yeah. Then breast milk. My, my mother saw me and they said, no, Felicia, you are suffering too much. Mm. And let's mix this thing with, although it's not advisable. Porridge. So we started mixing SME with porridge and they were eating it and really? that's what hey. So by four months, five months, and they stopped drinking. So, so which of them is the eldest? That's Jemima. That's Jemima. Mm. And the second one, that's Joanna. Joanna. Mm, the and boy. The, the boy. Who is now the head? Who is now the head <laughs> of the house? He's the last one, but the head. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's nice. Nice. Mommy, mommy Felicia, it's, it's been nice having you on the show. I think I, I, I personally love to have twins. I would love to no, have no, twins. No, no, no. Love to have triplets. <laughs> when you say twins, then it means. From your experience now, I think I, I want the two. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be popping here for my husband to be popping here. It's so easy. <laughs> Having 32 mates. 32 mates. They, they come, they go. Not that I've done something. I mean, in and out. They can't do it. They can't. Uh, and they can't do it. Now, some people will be charging. Oh. Mm -hmm. I feel your pain. I mean, I think I'm, I'm happy I've heard this other side of it because... Most mothers would say it's a blessing. Oh, it's a blessing. It. it is a blessing. It's a blessing. But Very then lovely. the other side is there. And they don't. They don't say that one. But I'm here telling you, it's a <laughs> blessing. Eh? But <laughs> financially and everything, it's straining. Buying the pumpers, <coughs> buying the, 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 the three of everything. Yes, my sister. And you know, I quite remember. I, I was looking for help, mm -hmm. and I went to hospital, mm -hmm. and they asked me to write that I can't take care of them before they can give me. Really? And my husband said, no, why do we go and say that we can't? God will take care of them. They should take their things. They are seven years. I've not got any help from anywhere. Wow. You go to hospital, you go to everywhere, and you pay everything. Exactly. So I, I was even shocked when you called me on your show and said, hey, then maybe God has uh, listened to us. My prayer. Uh, uh, <laughs> for us also to <laughs> Oh, Mommy Felicia, you've been fun. You've been fun. I've had a great time with you on the show. Thank wow, you. I love I love your triplets. I mean, I, I think I'll consider just the two. I, oh, I no, 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 no. Let God. Okay, God will do it. But, Mommy Felicia, you come and help me when I have my triplets. Since you've you know, had the experience. If, if God would allow you to have twins, then what about that Afuche? Who is having triplets? <laughs> and the second one was twins. And isn't that God, the same God saw the uh, future that he was suffering? No, no, don't say that. It's a blessing from God, so accept it. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy Felicia. It's been it's been fun having you on the on the on the show. Um, I'm sure you're gonna get help for the the triplets. Other than that, I will personally do my best to do something for them. Okay. And we also thank you for your remembrance because it's quite uh, strange to us, and you, I can say you are the first person to really? recognize what God has done Aww. and what that I'm also important. So thank you Aww. very much. On that note, um, I have my, my picture of the day, baby of the day. I have triplets. Mabel sends me a picture of her beautiful triplets um, from Kumasi. She couldn't come, but she sent me the pictures. I, I think they're adorable, adorable. <laughs> on that note, see you next week, same time on the AC Yanka Show. Thanks to our sponsors, Cousins Baby. Join the conversation on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Show, as it shows on the screen. And also check out our website, acyanka.com. See you next week with more bumps, babies, and toddlers only on the AC Yanka Show.